What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Now there's been a lot of talk on the forums and just people chatting, asking questions, giving comments, uh, asking about the obelisk and the siege roller. And uh, you know, the rumor has it out there of course that the obelisk just melts the siege roller and the rumor is indeed true. So any of you that have a mystic builder, I'm assuming most people that play the mystic probably play it as a builder. Uh, just because it is so strong. But anyone that does have a Mystic Builder can easily burn down the Obelisk. Really just even in a mediocre set of gear. So uh, here we are. I got this Obelisk right over here that's uh, upgraded all the way up to Tier 5. Now an important thing to notice about the Obelisk is when you move it, not only is it instant, but it also keeps its upgrade status so uh, the obelisk is still tier 5 so uh, just by just by moving that wherever you want you're gonna keep that bad boy right where it's at and it is instant cast this makes it very very easy now we know of course that to kill the siege roller you have to hit it hit it in the backside and uh, that is what we intend to do and it's really all about just placing that obelisk right behind it and it's actually remarkably easy uh, you saw that quick clip there of my wave one kill. You know, if you that was just with the obelisk itself, or pardon me, my wave two kill. Now, if you want to just overkill the crap out of that siege roller, or if you have multiple siege rollers to contend with, by all means, throw down your number two or a call of madness after you get that obelisk moved, and just watch it completely annihilate that siege roller. So uh, as with any Siege Roller kill, the easiest way to kill it is really going to be to focus on it last. If all the little baddies are all dead and out of the way by the time you get to the Siege Roller, it's going to be a much, much easier job taking it out. Now you do want to make sure that you're at 100% appeasement as the Flamethrower is what makes this build work. So don't throw down that Call of Madness unless you have the ability to get yourself right back up to 100 appeasement very, very quickly. And uh, everything appears to be dying pretty well here. Looks like, yeah, both of the... everything is dead, actually, with the Siege Roller. But all those baddies are still behind him, so I'm going to let a few more of those bads die off before I run down there. Now that, of course, is going to give me uh, a little easier chance at getting to that 100, 100 uh, appeasement as well and making sure the flamethrower is going to get the job done. Now those guys behind it just refuse to move here. They're just not dying at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this bad boy down and we'll call it good here. Now I did throw the call of madness. I got right back uh, up to 100% appeasement and you see the flamethrower is just burning it down. Now if your flamethrowers aren't as strong and you have to move it up no big deal because it's instant cast keeps its tier upgrades and you can just move it right along that path wherever you want to do it so uh, there is a quick look on how to kill the siege roller with the obelisk on the mystic so thank you for watching click that like button please subscribe to the channel uh, if there's anything you'd like to know about Dungeon Defenders 2, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to everybody's requests. Um, of course, obviously, there's already quite a few uh, hero spotlights and stuff like that on the channel. So um, anything new, by all means, let me know. Thanks again. We'll see you.